is up everyone welcome back to another episode of tea hybrid seed canada.com yes 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 the owners of the website that show you your everyday life that's pretty much what this channel is it is whatever the heck we want to make it <laughs> i'm just waiting for tipsy we're going to shannonville i'm on the blue bald eagle uh i guess it's a bald eagle that's just been getting the name I took some, we took somebody's name to name this, I think someone, uh, what was it, Blue Rock and Robin or Rock and Robin? I keep trying to call this bike Rock and Robin, but for some reason, I've been calling it Blue Bald Eagle, the BBE, yeah, oh yeah. So as you've probably seen from yesterday's video, I got my bike up and running. So what happened was I tried waiting for a taxi cab, waited for over, oh, I don't know, uh, let's say it was probably an hour and a half or so. I called the cab company Central within that time and I said, where's my taxi? Oh, it'll be there shortly. I'm like, okay. And I booked that taxi much, like probably about 10 a.m., 10 a.m. or so, 11 a.m to pick me up at five after six. I waited till after seven. CJ, CJ ended up picking me up. And I had tire for this bike, so he raced me home. Tipsy met me at my place. Uh, and we we're in a rush by this time when I got to my place was 7.30 and we had to get to the beer store by eight. So, got the tire on, took off, was heading to the beer store on this bike, you guys probably noticed it was driving pretty slow yesterday. I don't know why, I didn't know what was going on. So I was researching, I'm like, how to make this bike go faster? Some kind of, cause some of these bikes have a, a little wire that you can cut, which controls like the, uh, uh, speed control sensor which I haven't looked at but as I was researching it I realized not only does this bike have heated hand warmers which we found that out a while ago it has normal speed and turbo speed there's a little green switch I don't know if you guys can see but there's a little green switch and you hit that and you go super slow and it only lets you do maybe 25 kilometers an hour, maybe, maybe slower. And once I push it in, I don't know how fast, but it feels like I'm doing at least 32, maybe 35. I seem to have a lot more torque and stuff as well. Oh, just waiting for Tipsy. He slept in, so we were supposed to meet at 8. I messaged him at like... 10 after 7, no answer, message to him at like 7.40, no answer, and then he messaged me and said, oh shit, I slept in, but I still need to go to the res. So yeah, I'm going to record some clips going out there, and see what this bike can do. Um, when I did get this bike, just a reminder, it came with four 12 volt batteries, which were completely shot, swollen up sideway crooked uh, batteries just a total disaster so i put four new ones in well used but i've had four new ones that only have a few months on i put it in i've never had it fully charged yet and i've never driven probably more than maybe five to ten kilometers on this bike so yeah Oh, tipsy, tipsy. Okay, I think I'll shut the camera off till tipsy shows up. Or I just keep talking. And then start a new video for uh, Saturday going out to the res. Maybe I want to do that. I appreciate it. We had a couple subscribers reach out to Daymac as well. And, uh... The gen I, uh did I read that comment right? It was on Tipsy's channel, but... There's one on uh, my channel, uh, something grow. Shoot, I should have 
wrote down all the names before he did this could have given proper shout outs but in the one video I think I pinned his comment I did I did I did in my video of the uh, e-bike showing you all the damage he wanted Daymac's information to contact Daymac and so did uh, the gentleman that wanted us to do that Purdy Street tour he ended up contacting Daymac as well and I guess if I read it right, I could look at my phone and screenshot the tipsy. Here, let me read it. There's nothing better to do waiting for tipsy. On my walking out now at 8.07. It's, oh, I should have clicked on tipsy when he was right there. Okay. Until one of tipsy's videos, he commented, uh, this is Purdy Street Man. My real name, I'm not going to mention that in the video. I called Daymac about Trippy's Grant Dilemma. They told me they may call Trippy at Vapor's Canada if they get the okay. And there was more, but I couldn't see it. Because that was just a screenshot. I got to ask Tipsy what video that was and go over and reply. And I appreciate all the support. I've tried to call Daymac here because that's one thing they told me to do. Contact Daymac and Balbo because their old dealers closed up and they did it for, you know, reasons which I'm not getting into right now. But they weren't the greatest people to buy stuff from. I'd just say that much. Most of their e bikes they sold for some reason would never make it as far as my older, crappier e bikes. But, anyways. Um, another Daymac dealer opened up here. Uh, I'm pretty sure he runs it out of his garage, but I got his business card and I've called him three times. Twice I called, I left messages. When the e-bike broke and Daymac said, well, you can take it down to the guy in Belleville and if it's covered under warranty, we can bring it in. Uh, well, number one, it's the frame. It's covered under warranty. Um, oh. Yo. Yo. So what was I saying now, guys? I'm all like uh, fluster screwed. <clears throat> um. Yeah, but I've called Daymax three times, twice messages. They haven't gotten back to me here locally. In the head office, they never take my phone number to call me back. They're trying to get rid of me. They told me my bike was in a head-on collision. That's why that happened. Oh, uh, still going with that? Yeah. Oh, I'm going for it. Hey, you just keep going. I'll catch up. Oh, did he stop? Yeah, it's all good. Are you sure? Yeah, My bike's fast, man. No, it's not. <laughs> Actually, I already told everyone on YouTube here, but uh, this bike has a switch for uh, normal speed and turbo speed. Yeah, yeah I'd probably do it in like 32Ks, maybe 35. I get myself aerodynamic here. So, yeah. So I appreciate that everyone that's contacted Daymac. Thank you so much, Purdy. Yeah. See what happens. Yeah, I'm not getting anywhere, and if I keep if I keep bickering with them, I'm just going to lose my mind, and uh, it's not going to go well. <laughs> and then, technically speaking, where the frame broke, it is a frame issue. It's not my issue, and it should be under warranty. And realistically, I think what's taking me so long is to fix it is I'm kind of hoping they do contact me and said, okay, okay, this is what's going to happen. We're come down, get your bike. Put everything up your bike on a new frame. And I'll be like, okay, perfect. It's better than welding it, for Pete's sakes, but. And welding is. You have to go on the frame. Yeah. They're not welders up there. Even if they weld it, it saves me the hassle. But it's just the point where it's under warranty and Daymax should be covering it. Where the heck are you? Yeah. 
Where are you? <laughs> You're way back there. You were up around the corner before the road went green. Heck yeah. Yeah, I can't believe yesterday, I, yeah, this little green switch. I thought it was like the kill switch or something. I didn't know it was like slow and fast. So all last night it was like, uh, oh, that sucked. I knew it had more speed than it did. That bike shop really charged you. Oh god. I, I, oh, I forgot, I forgot the rope. Oh god. To I might have to. I might have to buy a bunch of duct tape. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm not really catching you. Oh, I bet there's a gas station out there that sells rope. <sighs> oh, yeah, today's Canada's Day. I fixed the front brakes on her this morning. Nice. The tire was really loose. The tire was good? Yeah, the tire was good. Oh, look at logs. I don't smell freaking cereal. Oh, oh, it feels like it's gonna rain. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I'm so glad this has a turbo switch. I was kind of depressed yesterday. Oh, oh, I just farted. <laughs> uh, hockey sticks at night. Hockey. Oh. Whoa. Hey. I can't catch you. How fast do you think I'm going? How fast was, was I going yesterday on your speedometer? Which is probably about 25. Yeah, somewhere. Now we're doing 25, so that's like 32. Yeah. <laughs> you have 25. Yeah. Which is like my 32. I do 25 when I want to do 32. <laughs> I'm cops and shit, that's why I do 25. See my stickers? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, make sure you check out hybridseedcanada.com where all seeds and ashtrays are only, hold on, seeds are anywhere from a dollar and up. <sighs> what a beautiful day for a ride. I can't see this bike not making it. Like I just. That's the battery's key. Huh? The battery, battery should be good, the bike should make it. Yeah. It's not like we're going deep into the The second joke and I have to leave and made it. Yeah, that emo was a freaking champ, though. Yeah. Maybe he's over, get it. It doesn't like hills, though, and we're going up a big hill. Yeah. No hilly hillies. Uh... Don't even notice the cell on the pit hog. But, 
Oh, shit. We got rear-ended here, guys. Oh, getting pushed. Getting pushed by a pit hog. I should stop talking about pit hogs till they fix my pit hog. No more wrapping for them. I might be pushing you. Oh, fuck, I'm flying. I'm doing like... 25? My speedometer says 20. Oh my god, oh god, <laughs> that's cock. <laughs> yeah, but we're out of city. I. Yeah. I don't know if it. If it's Balboa cops that come out here, they're still pricks, but if it's not Balboa cops, then we're good. No. Oh, Mr. CN, what would you do if in the middle of the night I decided to go and step on those train tracks? Who are you talking to? The CN guy. Okay guys, I'm going to end this video off here and watch for part two at some point tomorrow or next to tomorrow for you guys a couple days down the road for me. Make sure you stay tipsy, stay tripping, and stay hybriding. <laughs> hybriding. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, y'all.